just a little bit of rain. It'll pass through, though, as it lifts off towards the northeast. Stalling fronts across the Chattahoochee Valley, that plus all the moisture that's gathered around our region, it does lead me to believe that we can see a few more showers and storms developing during the course of the weekend. So here's how things play out this evening. The rain coverage remains pretty limited. And then overnight, areas of partially clear sky, some building clouds in the southeastern Big Bend, and that's where a few streaming showers are possible. Into the afternoon tomorrow, those few showers will influence a greater number of them. Plus, with that front stall nearby, we can see, again, mostly scattered to maybe numerous areas of rain and storms, but nothing is going to wash out any kind of daytime plans in their entirety. You just have to watch for how things are developing around you. And those rainfall totals, they will range, in most cases, less than a half inch. But again, any time of summertime thunderstorm activity can cause a big soaking. Some areas can see maybe upwards of an inch in isolated cases. Your forecast low is 77. A couple of those evening downpours and storms, mostly eastern areas, and then breaks of clear sky before patchy fog forms. 96 is what we'll go for in the afternoon tomorrow. Rain coverage about 50% of our area, and again, at different times of day, not all at once. We can see a bit more rain coverage for Sunday as that front lingers and meanders and then starts to wash itself out into Monday. High pressure tries to build in. I think it has some success in reducing the rain coverage for the middle of next week. Those temperatures will climb right back into the mid and even upper 90s. The moisture is not going anywhere, so do expect a few more heat advisories for at least some of the next several days. And then maybe a return of higher rain probabilities to close out next week. Morning lows pretty steady in the mid-70s.